Hey folks, so we are doing this uh, interesting video on whether dead minnows can actually pick up some fish and the reason why I'm doing this video here is because uh, two, three days back I bought uh, a scoop of minnows, uh, used it only once and then as I was changing uh, the water for the minnows, I let the water sit out for one day more than 24 hours actually uh, because I thought that would do the job in dechlorinating the water put the minnows into the new water and within an hour all of these minnows they died out so as you can imagine I am you know not an only angry at the situation but I was uh, disappointed because it took me 30 minutes you know to drive to the bait shop to get the minnows and I only got to use uh, only two minnows and while the rest of the uh, batch actually died off Uh, what I've rigged up over here it's a dead minnow on a jig head putting a little weight on it so that it sinks at the bottom I'm just gonna cast it into this water here just to see what happens uh, see if we get any bites at all uh, many people would think that I would think that you know it's not probably going to get any bites given that you know, minnows uh, usually get bites because they are lively, they have action, and hence uh, fish wants to eat them. But then uh, if they're dead, then probably not uh, very interesting, not very appetizing to, uh, to any fish out there. But we'll see. Because I, I don't want to uh, throw the uh, whole set of dead minnows out. Just want to see if it's any use for it all before tossing them out. Oh, hooked up on something. Interesting. Got something. Uh, not quite a fish. This is... This is a... Oh, it's a newt. We caught a newt today. Man. This is so cool. This is so cool. I caught a newt today. Alright, let's try to get the newt. Uh, I don't know what uh, you guys call it here in America, but I've read things about this is a salamander. Salamander, I hope you guys could see this on camera. Very interesting catch. Right, very, very interesting catch uh, here. I'm just going to take a picture of it. Yeah. Very, very interesting catch today. On a dead fish, uh, at least uh, we show that you know dead fishes can be useful. We got a, a newt over here. Looks like you know it's crawling. Just gonna put a little video here, just to double catch. It. So let me just get this hook off this guy and uh, put him back in the water. Uh, the first time I was doing this, uh, I did this wrongly. I was uh, hooking the minnow by it's uh, torso thin and then just dropping it into the water and hoping that you know you uh, will get some fish to bite it so uh, I went online I checked you know the right way to do that uh, to use a dead minnow right is to basically hook it the way you would hook a plastic uh, um, bait and then you need to give it some action so that you know the dead minnow will look pretty much like a live minnow and then that would hopefully get you know fish to bite it so we're gonna try that uh, today to rectify the mistakes that we did uh, yesterday. And some of you might be asking like, why would you wanna use dead minnows and not just use the live ones? Uh, this is useful because in some places, uh, the fishing law only allows uh, you know, non-live bait in the water. So they only allow plastic ba baits. So uh, if you use a dead minnow, that's considered non-live, so that's, uh, a way you might be able to use a minnow-like uh, bait uh, to fish. Uh, at the same time, you know it's gonna be you know better than a plastic uh, bait because it it is you know uh, a minnow. Uh, that just that it doesn't have uh, the action, but it will have the exact same resemblance to its you know its body. Its body is streamline to have the natural action that a minnow would have so these are the sort of reasons why you might want to consider using and not toss out your dead minnows 
So here's my bag of dead you know, so I'm gonna show you how I'm going to rig it up on my jig head. First of all, uh, choose any minnow inside and what you want to do with this minnow is that uh, you want to get the uh, hook through uh, the mouth of the minnow, just like so and then carefully uh, move it, uh, move the hook through the mouth and then let it come up through the top of the head this is very similar to how we typically uh, would sort of uh, rig up or hook up a plastic uh, bait one of those uh, curly tails so you want it to come out and look like a curly tail basically there we go and then we'll put this in the water Oh, fish on! Oh, lost it. Yeah, it was a nice one. I was using a dead minnow. I'm gonna use this one first. Not exactly sure if the bite is gonna be good today, but we really shall see. We shall see. There we go, that minnow on a jig head. So let's try, see what fishes we might be able to land today. So there's a technique to do this properly. Uh, first let the Jig sort of sink to the bottom and then tighten the rope this line and then you want to sort of jig it you know with quick pulls right quick pulls let it drop down quick pull again two pulls let it drop down two pulls when it drop down oh yeah there's a there's a bite there we go there we go there we go there we go. All right, on the boat. Yeah, very, very fast sort of uh, hit here. Dead minnows do catch fishes, and this is a good fish. We have a bass, smallmouth bass. It's yeah, good fish, good set hook set. Let's see how big this guy is. All right, hope you guys could see this. Hook off from our little fella here. Nice bass, see, nice looking bass here. So this proves that that minnows uh, would help us get uh, fishes. Right, very very exciting fight here. You know, one of the eye is not doing too well. The other one is okay. So I'm gonna release this guy back in the water. Right over here. All right. this guy here and hopefully we catch this uh, footage of him going back in the water and off he goes a sweet a sweet small mouth caught on a dead minnow very nice we're gonna try again first fish uh, today on a dead minnow 
that gives me confidence to you know keep doing this second minnow that we're gonna pick up from the the back here hopefully one that's still of a pretty good shape this little guy hopefully it's sturdy enough Getting this very bad foul smell from ah, fish. There we go. Back in the water. All right. With a dead fish, you need to jig it. You cannot just leave it alone, like you know the, the way you would do for a you know a live fish, because there's no action. Right. So do the sort of twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause, and when it sort of landed. Twitch, 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 and pause. We're gonna put this uh, that minnow inside this tunnel because I know in this tunnel there are fishes. Okay. Oh, there we go, another one. Hook set. This is a nice hook set. This is probably another bass. I hope you guys could see this. Yeah, let's get a sense of how big this guy is. Very good fight here. Excellent fight. Ooh, check that out. Check that out. That is probably... I probably have to use my net here. Uh, another nice bass here. Uh, there we go. Second bass of the day, and this is this is not a ding. This is a good fish here. Look at its scale. It's very healthy looking fish. Just got to try to help him take his hook out. Okay, it's out. So this guy, it's very very active. I'm trying to see if I can lift him without him struggling. One two. Feisty little guy, checking him out. Big looking fish. Again, I would say in the size of uh, six, probably 15, 16 inches. I'm gonna put him back into the river. All right, very beautiful specimen here. Again, hit up on the uh, dead minnow. And off he goes. Yeah. Ooh. That was a hot landing, but he'll survive. Again, two, we have two basses today, smallmouth bass, one after another, no dead minnow wasted. It's all coming from this bag of dead minnows. Now i try the third one. Hopefully we get something different. This little guy here. Now my hands are shaking, you know, because these minnows, they f this uh, smallmouth basses, they fight really well. Excellent day so far. Two minnows, two smallmouth catches. Okay, here we go. Casting it out into the water again. over there got one oh, got one and on a smallie third small mouth in a row third small mouth in a row this is not a big one but it's it just goes to show that you know this technique works it's gonna land this fish over here, there we go. And on the smallie, landed on my third, right under on my third, that fish, that minnow. We're gonna give this guy a quick release. Another nice specimen here. 
check him out probably a 10 12 incher not a big not as big as the last two we caught but you know the point today is not the size of the fish but on really can we use that minnows to catch fish and we are getting very good catches not just rough fishes but some decent uh, fish that we saw over here two three three nice small mounts right three nice small mounts I'm gonna lift this up and put this fish over here so you could go off so once you guys to see the release right. off he goes Got another one. Got another one. Oh, that's a walleye. That's a crazy walleye. That's a walleye. Oh, that's a oh no, that's a pike. That's a pike. That's a pike. Oh man, that's a pike. That's a pike. All right. Let's see if I can. Oh man, that's a pike. That's a pike. That's a pike. Fish. Hope you guys can see the pike here. Yeah. Uh, that's a heavy one. This is one big pike, man. This is one big pike. Oh. On a dead minnow. On a dead minnow. We have to measure this guy up. Yeah. He's big. He is big. He is huge. This pike is big. But careful. Pikes have tough, sharp teeth. So let me get my tools to help take out his hook. This is one big pike, man. You guys could see this. This is 25 inch long pike. Maybe stretching a little. 26 tailed, you know, tail end. Okay, so you got 26 inch pike. for a quick release. Alright, So we are trying to get a fifth fish. We got three basses, uh, one giant pike, and then let's see if we get more. You know, so it goes to show that having using a dead minnow can get all sorts of fishes if we fish it right. Yeah, the fish it right with the with the right action, the right jigging action, and today we're doing pretty well. Not just rough fishes, but we're getting good sport fish, game fishes. Right, tossing it back into the hole. Let it sit. Got another one. That's it. Got another one. Oh, it broke off. Oh man, that was a big fish. It broke off. Did you guys see that? Ah, this is my line here. It broke off. That was a very, very strong fish. Very strong fish. 
that minnow. The fifth one is getting. This is a fish. Fifth fish we got on a dead minnow. Some videos mentioned that you know dead minnows are good for catfishing, uh, but I think you know if we do it properly, if you use the right jigging motion, it actually could help to get better fishes on top of you know catfishes. Right, give it the right action, it will perform like a plastic uh, lure uh, at the same time it is a fish after all so its body is streamlined you know to move in a fashion as naturally as a minnow could be and I hope this video gives you some insights on how to do that right so next time you have a if you have a set of dead minnows do not toss them out you could definitely use them to fish all right see you next time in JCTV signing out